Welcome to Skyward Training. Today we'll be showing you some basics of getting started in Skyward, some display options you like to change for um, personal preference, and just some other ins and outs of Skyward. So let's go ahead and begin. If you're in the district, you can access Skyward through your teacher applications folder, which looks like this right here. This is my preference because it has all of the shortcuts the district uses, but if you don't want to use that, that's fine as well. You can also go to www.list.net and get to it from there. You click on the staff page and go to Skyward. Then from there, you can go click to enter Skyward Production Database. That's the live version of Skyward. And you log in using your school login account. If you want to take attendance, you just click over here on the left hand side to post daily attendance. But today we'll be focusing on the gradebook part of it. So the first thing you want to do is go to My Gradebook. And you find whatever class you want to work with. Today we're going to work with my first period class. The way you know it's first period is because it says period one, period three, period four. And it says terms one, one, one. That means it's the first nine weeks. If you have a one dash two, that means it's first, it's the second nine weeks so on and so forth. If you have multiple courses you like to combine, you click this link and follow the prompts from there. So let's go ahead and open up the gradebook. The first change you want to make, well most all your changes you'll make will be up here in this tabs over here. The first change you want to make is display options. You want to go to display options, student display. The default setting for it is the short which unfortunately only has five characters per first name, five characters per last name. Typically what I do is last name comma first name, but it's up to your own individual choice. For sake of this lesson, I'm going to suppress the names and ID numbers for sake of confidentiality. But you can change, add display options for a student ID number. If you want to see students who are dropped and what school they go to if you have a course that involves students from multiple campuses. And also you can sort it by first name, last name, whatever your preference is. After you make your changes, you press save. The next thing we're going to look at is categories. Categories are, the category titles are set by the district, but you can change the percentages based on whatever your departmental's requirements are. So in order to change the categories for your grades, or for your assignments, you click the categories tab, and you can go to add edit categories. I already have mine set up here but it gives you the options for your categories. These are the default ones set up by the district. You cannot change the names of them, but you can change percentage of them. So for example, my class, major grades are worth 60% of the grade, and minor grades worth 40%. You check off the ones you want to use, you change their weight there, and then you press save. If you So after you have the categories you want, you can also go use these categories from other classes, and they will apply to other classes as well. Next thing you can look at is you can also just change display options on how the assignment looks. If you go to actually first as post, go ahead and do an assignment. So you go to assignment, add assignments. And if I'm going to add a new assignment, you change whichever category your projects, your assignment's based off of. You give a little description. So we'll do my first major speech, which will be the how-to speech. You can give a detailed description if you like, but you're not re required to. You can group your assignment. The assigned date is when you put it into Skyward. The proposed due date is when it's originally assigned to be due. This is important because in the family access view or the student view, they are able to see when it's in a calendar form when assignments are due. So it's important to have accurate dates put in the calendar. So I'll say, for example, this speech was not going to be due until September, we'll say 10th. Okay. You can go back and actually change the actual due date, but once, but you just need to put proposed due date. You can change the scores here. You can multi have multiply if, if your sum assignments are worth more than others. The thing we learned, though, if you have a multiplier here, for example, if your sum assignments are worth two points or two times the weight, instead of clicking score, you want to select drop down here as percent. Otherwise, it will give you a score of a 200 rather than 100. I don't think it impacts the actual percentage grade, but it will impact how it's viewed on the screen. Okay, 
So once you have that squared away, you can also have comments shown for the assignments. Just be aware that any comments you post here will be seen by the students and parents as well. If you also notice, the fam post the family access and post the student access are both checkmarked and are grayed out, which means you cannot change those. That means everything you post here, the family and the students are able to see. So you can go save and add another, save and go back to previous screen, or save and score. We're going to go ahead and go save and score. For scoring your assignments, currently my students are hidden so you can't see who it is. You, there's different options. If you want to put a grade in for everyone, the same grade, you can click it over here and you can apply it. They'll add it, they'll add to all your scores, or you can make modifications over here to the right hand side. Descriptions, if you back in assembler, if you remember if you put a missing or M for a grade, it counted as a zero for them. If you notice on this part, there's a check, there's a lit, a column you can check for missing. This is just indicates a student's missing the assignment, but it has no impact on the student's actual grade. These codes over here is what impacts a student's grade. So absent missing or M0 is what that is, stands for missing. I believe that impacts a student's grades. If you make any check marks here, the no count or missing columns, make sure you uncheck them before you actually try to post your grades, because otherwise the grades sometimes don't work that way. And this column is where you put the special codes. And again, as you see, it automatically posts to where students and families can see them. So say I want to put 100 in for a student here. I can just put 100 there, 90 there, so on and so forth. Whenever I'm done making my changes, I press save, and it'll take me to this screen here. This screen is, consider this a grade all screen from Assembler. You can put grades in here. Actually, I'm sorry, you can't put grades in here. Just kind of you can view all the grades, but you can't actually post grades in that screen. So uh, what you want to do also, though, on this screen, so you know, these blue columns are the default columns, they're based off of, for example, 1P1 equals the first three-week grade, 1P2 is the second three-week grade, 1PT is the nine-week grade, this is the final exam grade, and this is the overall grade. That's set by the district. We can't change that. The codes are what we post in the training later on. If you notice here, I have a pink grade for minor and a purple grade for major. The Skyward automatically color codes it based on the preset categories by the district. So. You can kind of see grades there, and so if you want to, that just shows you different ways to what the view is going to look like. And also, if you want to do, actually see the whole grade sheet, you go to grade period display. Actually, so this is where you show what grades are posted. You can show for the whole nine weeks. You can show just for the first three weeks. You can change the range of dates, however you want to do that. Just be careful if you hide all, it does hide all. So just be aware of that. So be careful when you're hiding. And over here, quick scoring is the, sim is the equivalent of the grade all screen. This is where you can have all the assignments posted, and you can just grade, 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 go down. And so ha if you don't have any special codes or any unique circumstances, you can just click on this way. And that's the way sometimes I like to grade assignments, especially if it's just something completion grade or just so I can see how all the grades are lining up. That is, and for sake of the posting, I will do this in a later lesson. But posting is different than submitting. It's the same concept. It's just a passive submitting. So I'll, I'll cover that in another video. So that's just some ins and outs of Skyward. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at cone d c o n e d s and david at lisd.net. Thank you.